So there are many areas of overlap between hematology and immunology and in particular if you take patients who've got congenital neutropenia or autoimmune cytopenias, hematologists would often contact immunologists, either clinical immunologists or laboratory immunologists for help with diagnostic testing, you know, what types of testing to be ordered, what types of genetic analyses um, can be done. Um, because the hematopoietic system is the common ground for both haematologists and immunologists, but immunologists tend to focus on the immune system in depth, whereas haematologists look at the hematopoietic system in a much larger or broader concept. The other area that haematologists often interact with the diagnostic immunology lab is, for example, a very basic assay, which is the T-cell, B-cell, and NK-cell lymphocyte subset quantitation. A lot of hematologists use that when they look at patients with malignancies for BCLL, for example, and that test is run in a diagnostic immunology lab. So hematologists, even if they don't talk in terms of interpretive uh, guidance to a laboratory immunologists, certainly use the test in their clinical practice. Uh, another situation that we have seen a fair bit at Mayo recently is patients with what we call hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis or HLH and there are two sort of broad forms of HLH. One is a familial form which is a primary immunodeficiency and there's other secondary forms of HLH. It could be due to viral infections, could be due to malignancies and so on. And there are some tests we offer in the immunology lab, for example, looking at NK cell function or looking at a soluble biomarker called soluble IL-2 that hematologists use often in these patients who've got HLH who are critically ill to try and differentiate whether it's a familial versus a secondary HLH. And so there's often some dialogue sometimes, uh, particularly when they want expedited testing for these critically ill patients. So um, while he, all haematologists may not see patients with primary immunodeficiencies, I think a fair number of haematologists would see patients with autoimmune cytopenias or uh, probably some level of immunological anomaly at some point in their career where it might benefit them to know what's available in the diagnostic immunology realm or to know that there is expertise available for interpretation of uh, tests ordered in the immunology field.